Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Monday, and I thought I would, first I was just planning on doing an outfit of the day, and then I thought, well, um, Friday and I went back Saturday, I got some new hair products to try out. I went to a different salon that sells this particular brand, and the brand is, um, let me get one of the boxes, it's that Orbe, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I've only tried hard to see o-r-i-b-e i guess that's his name he's like a celebrity um hair stylist and from what the lady i ended up okay i'll back up several times a few of you have told me to try the orbe uh, dry texturizing spray and so that is what i was after this particular uh, boutique is right down from Tory Bell and I had gone in there I think Friday and so I walked down to this boutique just to try this out and I ended up talking to Roxanne the lady that owns it and she just you know when you talk to somebody that's passionate about something they end up getting you excited about their brand and I ended up trying some stuff so I ended up getting the dry texturizing spray which is supposed to be um, better than it says shake spray where you want volume and style a brilliant alternative to dry shampoo it's supposed to be just as good as the dry shampoo except you don't get the build up which is the one thing that I don't like about the bumble and bumble that's the best dry shampoo I've tried and it does after a couple of days you know really give you build up so this is the first thing that I got and I was going to show you the box just in case. So that's the box for that. And um, so then she said another thing that you should try is the, that everybody loves, is the Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. So that was the next thing that I got. Um, let's see, it's not that one. Um, here it is. It looks about the same. Apre Beach Shine Spray. And what this is supposed to be is the, this, the texturizing spray is something that you kind of spray at the roots to get that, you know, just bounce up at the roots. This, what you do is you actually spray it up in the hair, kind of like this. And it comes out in a real fine mist. And I've got hairspray on my hair and it's everything. So it these were the so two good. that I wanted to try at first. Now, I did tell her that I had the quickie tape-in extensions and so we kind of went into you know different hair care and stuff for that and when I got home like I always do I went and started reading all about these products I usually go read the reviews and then I'll re go on the website and read about it and I noticed that this Apre Beach said that it had a little bit of some type of oil so that I immediately kind of was a red flag to me because I've been told not to get any oily products near the tapes because these quickies, the way they do is, it'll be like, you know, a strand of hair on a piece of tape, and then another strand of, or piece of hair on a piece of tape, and then they kind of put your hair in the middle, and then they tape them together like that. So they're not, they are taped to your hair, but they're really taped to each other, and it's real important that you don't break that, you know, bond or that stickiness. So the next day, I called and asked the girl at the front desk, which it was Saturday, so Roxanne wasn't there, and um, I asked her what she thought about me using this on extensions, and she went and asked and came back and said, oh, it'll be fine as long as you don't spray it right on the extension. Well, that wasn't good enough for me. I ended up, I actually had intentions of just going and exchanging it for, you know, another thing of the texturizing spray or something like that. I was just scared. But when I went in there, one of the stylists came out and said that everybody in their salon that has the extensions uses it and it will be fine as long as I just don't, you know, spray right on the glue. So, and she just loves it. So I ended up keeping that and I used them both today. So, um, and then another thing that when I was talking about the extensions that she asked me about is she said, what are you using? To brush them and I said well I've got the Mason Pearson detangling brush and she said oh that's great and she said but another thing that's really good is the tangle teaser and it looks like this in the package and I have seen I think I might have seen Holly YMBB use get this before or something it was it was either her or someone else and you can see there is a piece of my hair in here 
but it was only like, I don't know, it was under $15. And let me throw this away. I've got enough stuff on my floor. And, um, but what it is, is this crazy little contraption that you hold like this. And you can see that it's got these teeth and then it's got these teeth below. And it is really good at, you know, just brushing your hair out. I mean, not just for extensions, for anybody's hair, without pulling it. So, I love this. Love it. Now, they really recommend it when your hair is wet. I still think I prefer the Mason Pearson so far when your hair is wet, but I do like this um, as far as brushing it out and not getting static, and Brooke loved it. She loved it so much that I ended up, when I went back Saturday, I got her one. I got her a, like a silvery blue one. And... I think I read somewhere, or maybe somebody left me a comment that they got one of these at Sally's Beauty Supply. So that would be a good place for you to go. I'm gonna go look and see if they have them there, just so I can tell you. But, um, so it's really neat. I do like that. Dexter just came over here. What do you want, Dexie? Huh? What you want? I think he wanted to say hello. Say hey, Dexter. Hmm. He always gives me this crazy look. See here. Look at them. Hmm. Let them see your pretty face. Let them see your pretty face. Yes. He's upset right now because we've shut the door to my bedroom because he likes to get on my bed and lay on my pillow. He can't just lay at the foot of the bed. He's got to go get on one of our pillows. And so, um, He's a little mad right now because we've got the door shut. Can't you just go lay on the couch? Hmm? Pretty boy. Look at his pretty tummy. He's got like a little furry bunny tummy. <laughs> okay. Um, so, that's those products. Well, of course, when I was in there talking to Roxanne the first day, she asked me about what shampoo and conditioner. I was using and she you know was just offering me come on come back to a chair I'll, I'll give you a free blowout I just want you to try these products and everything and I said no no so ended up I got the for shampoo and conditioner because I am using the bumble and bumble color care or color preserve or whatever and that's all I've been using so I really wanted to try something different because as you probably know bumble and bumble hasn't been like my favorite for all products I do like the dry shampoo and I like the hairspray that I use, but I wanted to try something different. And this is the Orbe Shampoo and Conditioner for, it says, Shampoo for Beautiful Color. And this is like the same concept. It's made for people with color, and it says, you know who you are. I love all the different, let me read you this Apre Beach um, box here. This, I just love this. It says, um, Attention Island Hoppers and champ Champagne Poppers. Get your beached bombshell hair, tousled, touchable waves with sun-kissed shine without the salty stiffness. Our moisturizing glamour spray uses rich extracts and exotic oils for lush repair and sultry texture. And it says, shake, spray on wet or dry hair, tussle to taste and let dry in the Saint-Tropez air. Follow with lipstick and heels. I love that part. So you can use it on uh, wet hair too. So ended up I got this and I used it last night and I loved it it smells so good I love the bottle but it smells just oh it's like a light um perfume fragrance but not heavy not as heavy as like Pantene or a lot of those that's just so heavy you smell it so much and it makes your Pantene almost makes my scalp itch I think it has too much perfume in it and um, so these are just, it even says on the bottle or the box, I believe. Let's see. I've got that here. I do. Um, that's why I saved the boxes so I could read them to you. It says an ultra gentle cleanser for ultra beautiful color. Extend the bright, happy life of your dye with high tech ingredients that target damaged areas for intense moisture treatment and protect your hue from the elements. Uh, lather indulge rinse formulated without parabens or sodium chloride uv protection for hair color color safe so it's sulfate free and um okay that's written in french it looks like but it's also i think it said on the website that it was safe for keratin treatment 
So I'm gonna give this a try and let you know how it goes. And then I ended up getting the, because where I live in North Carolina at the beach, you can imagine how humid it is. And that is the main problem I have in the summer is trying to keep any type of, it's hard to keep it straight and then it's hard to keep it with a uniform curl because all it wants to do is, you know, kink up. So I'm hoping with the keratin treatment that will help. And they recommended this Orbe Anti-Humidity Spray. And it's just kind of like um, hairspray. It comes in a fine mist and you just spray it all over your hair like that. And it smells so good. Everything smells so... It reminds me a lot of like the Bond number so 9. So I will tell you um, in a couple weeks if I think all of this is very expensive. And if I had not heard such great reviews and read such great reviews on Makeup Alley and in all the magazines and from, I know Blushing Pixie has used these products and, you know, several of you have told me about them too. I probably would not have, you know, gone into it as much, but I really think, you know, it might be good stuff and I will let you know. Like, I've been so pleased with the Shu Yumira products and they're expensive, so... And some of the Kerastase, but then some of the Kerastase I haven't been. So I will use these for a few weeks and then get back with you and let you know what I think of them, which products I think are worth having. Do I think, you know, um, the texture spray is just as good as dry shampoo? Do I think, you know, this is just as good or better than the Bumble and Bumble and all that kind of good stuff. Now, I showed this to you the other day, and it's the Shu Yumira. A ample Angora Volumizing Light Foam. And evidently, I didn't say the full name in the video, so I wanted to make sure that I showed it to you and told you about it because I still love it. Now, all these products, except for the shampoo and conditioner, are really products that I don't use when I, you don't use the, or I don't use the texture spray and the Apre Beach Spray right when I wash my hair. That's going to be more for, I used them today just so I could kind of tell you guys a little bit about it. But really that's for, you know, your second and third day hair when you're trying to revive it. You know, especially with extensions, you pretty much have to brush those out and try to, you know, blend them back you into your hair. to kind of give it that tussled and beachy, you know, look. So that's why I got these products or for that second and third day hair to see if it would replace the dry shampoo. But this is the best mousse I have ever tried. My hair is so light and like full of volume and it's soft. And that's what I think the Angora part of it is supposed to be is that it leaves your hair really, really soft. So I do recommend this and I think that you would love it, especially those that are really looking for volume. Now I thought I would try to answer just some of the questions that I got the other day about my tape in quickie extensions and of course i'm not an expert because i've only had them uh going on two weeks now so um but i will answer as many as i can i know one of them was can you still wear your hair up in a ponytail and i'm not really one to wear my hair up a lot but yesterday for church i just left the front parts out and then pulled it back into like a low ponytail and then I just put a plain rubber band around it like twice and it was just gorgeous. It's amazing how much better, you know, your hair looks with all that extra hair in it. So, and so I really didn't pull it up. So you didn't really see the underside of my hair. So it was fine. You didn't see any of the extensions and it looked awesome. I mean, I got that real big fullness, you know, at the back and it was just so easy and I loved it. So I will let you know about that. Um, working out, um, even though I have joined the gym and bought a pair of tennis shoes, I have not gone and worked out. Um, I have not had time. I'm hoping that I can get in a routine, and if nothing else, when the kids get out of school, that's something I can do because I won't be doing as much back and forth. But Rachel, the girl who does my hair, she works out all the time. Her brother owns a CrossFit place. And she is really into working out, lifting weights and everything. And she has had them before and used them. And so I'm fairly certain you can, I'm fairly certain you can do whatever you did before. Um, swimming, you know, I can't imagine that you couldn't swim. I do not go underwater when I go swimming. I do the, the mama swim where I hold my head kind of out of, out of the water. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I think it might be kind of awkward 
just because I know when I am in the shower, it almost, you know, it's a lot of extra hair, especially when it's wet. So I don't know about that. I'll have to get back with you. Um, someone asked, is it heavy? At first, it does feel heavy and it does make your head sore the first couple of days, but then you get so used to it, you don't even feel them. And they're so, like the tape is so soft and worn in now that you don't even feel it. Um, the only time I feel it heavy now is when I'm in the shower and I get it wet. It does feel a lot heavier and just thicker. Your hair is just so much thicker. And um, I was going to explain that, I think, and I already did explain that the the tape is on each side and they put your, uh, you know, a strand of your hair in the middle and then they tape them together. And so then the, you know, your hair is kind of in the middle. And when they do, they'll just leave them in as long as they can. And when they do take them out, they'll put something on the tape that, you know, removes the adhesive. They take them out and I've seen them do this with other people's while I was in there. They kind of just lay them out and they re-tape them. So they put new tape on those same extensions. Um, and that's how you get to use them, I think, two to three to four times, depending on how well they look and how well you take care of them. Let's see, um, the cost. The cost I edited out of the first one because for one reason I was um, trying to cut down on time, but two, I didn't wanna, I don't know, sometimes I feel bad when I say the cost of things, but I do feel, I had people ask me and I do feel like it's kind of an important part. And I think that these are fairly inexpensive compared to the um, bonded kind. So um, each um, pack or bundle, I'm not sure of the cost because I had to order those first and pay for those separate. So I know the, four, the first time I, I ordered, four bundles and it was and I did pay for like overnight shipping so it would be there by my appointment on the next day or the next day I can't remember oh no so it would be there by Thursday because I ordered them on Monday I wanted them to be there by Thursday so I had to order like overnight shipping and it was um, right under $400 it was like $389 or something like that and I thought gosh you know that's not bad at all but the kicker is it was $75 per bundle to put them in. So that, you know, times four um, in with a haircut and my color was a pretty hefty bill. So I'm hoping that they are gonna last in there as long as I can keep them in there. So, but I think, I'm not sure how much it is for the other ones, but I still think that that's pretty reasonable. And um, I just love the way they feel. They're just real flat to my head and I just love it. Now today, I have my hair parted on the side more than I wish I would. I kind of like it where it's not so heavy right here. But, you know, what do you do? <laughs> it was just this way. And um, so I hope that's most of the questions that you have. Um, I'm going back this week to get the other two bundles that I ordered because I want my hair and my extensions to blend in a little better at the bottom and right now you can kind of see a distinction between the two and um, so I'll let you know I'm how it goes after that. I'm going to the day. I've got some of these uh, crazy jeans that I've bought in the past on. It's the first time I've worn them and I love them. They fit so good but they're not going to be for everyone and then I'm going to run to, actually I'm going to go to Target today and a few other places and a, a few of you recommended some of the shapewear at Target and Walmart. I'm gonna look at that, look at their maxi dresses, look at their bookshelves for my shoes and just some different things like that. So I'll be right back and with today my outfit today. I'm wearing this Wild Fox t-shirt and the jeans I have on are, um, let's see, there's some I got on clearance. I've never even heard of this brand. It's called Carmel and Alden and they are called the Melissa Crop and I got them 70% off of $169 at Oliver. And I'll back up and let you see the whole outfit. So they are the ones, I don't know if you can remember, but they're, they have the big crop and they are stitched. And so I have on just my Sigerson Morrison Bell shoes, or Bell by Sigerson Morrison. I believe they're called Zuma. And, um, my uh, cobalt blue <laughs> Balenciaga classic city bag and so and I if you're thinking of the black and white shoes the Alice and Olivia I did try this on but it was just way too much with this cuff is enough going on with this outfit so 
Um, this is it, and let's see if I can get out of the camera. And I love the, the pockets go down, you know, long in the back, and I love that. For accessories, I have these earrings that were a surprise gift from one of my subscribers, Lisa, and she said that she saw these. I believe they were in a Lord and Taylor box, so I don't know if that's where she got them. She'll have to let me know down below. But she saw these and she said she thought of me and my Ben Moon spike necklace, and so she got her and I a pair, and I love them. They're just, they're actually better than the Ben Moon ones because they're not as heavy. Um, so I love those. And I didn't do the spike necklace because I thought that might be too much. And then I didn't do any necklace and I just didn't even feel right. So I put on this one, which is an ax and apple, little, you know, simple necklace that I like. And I can't get enough of this bracelet. So I threw it on. It's very, very, very comfortable. And it gets even more comfortable as it's worn in. And actually, um, my Lealena shipment should be here. It shipped... Um, I think it was last Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, and it comes from Texas to North Carolina. So I'm expecting it today or tomorrow, and I got a lot. Like I told you, I ordered my stuff through Lee herself, so she was going to send me some neat stuff that I just told her to send me whatever she thought was pretty. So we picked out kind of an assortment. And um, I've got on my Michael Kors leather watch that I love. I haven't worn this lately. And the fragrance I'm wearing today is Bond Number no. 9. Um, Chelsea, oh God, I can't remember. I have to put it down here because I like it. It's kind of a, a boyfriendy scent. And I just saw, I was just looking at this and I won't even wait until Friday to show it to you because I think it's so cool. I walked in um, that boutique the other day to get those little um, sandals. The, I'm having a hard time today. It's because I'm not prepared the Dolce Vita Archer sandals and they didn't have black all they had was gold so I ended up ordering them through Zappos but they carry the Deborah Lippman polish and so I picked it up and when I read the name it was all over it's called On the Beach and I thought this was the prettiest blue color so I'll probably paint my nails with it next I've been enjoying this nude color but isn't that pretty it's just a just a pretty it's like not turquoise but it's it's just a kind of an in-between kind of like a sky blue I guess you would say and so I guess that's so it. I hope you guys have um, a wonderful week ahead of us I know if you are a mom like me we're on the home stretch for school being out which means we're gonna have to do teacher gifts and stuff like that it's gonna get busy and those end of the year parties and everything else so I'm trying to get prepared for that and um, oh Rachel K it this morning says that it's in clear process for clearance so i'm hoping to get that um i don't know today or tomorrow it usually doesn't i think it's in kentucky right now so it doesn't take long to get here and um so i hope to have that and thanks for hanging with me on that and i will see you guys maybe tomorrow or the next day talk to you soon bye bye